Hey friends, today I'm going to share with you a simple way for you to share the gospel through a wordless book, a book with just colors. It's a way to share with children, it's a way to share with anybody to make the gospel simple. If you've struggled to understand the gospel, this book is for you. It's a wordless book. Um, so let me just get started and show you how to share. The first page of the book is gold and it stands for God. Uh, God is the king of kings. Think about his golden crown like that kings wear. He is the creator of the universe. He created you and me and everything in it. He is before the beginning and is eternal. King of kings. So the first page is to know that God is God. That's the first part of the Bible. God is God. And he made you and me and everything in the world. Our second page is the dark page. And the dark page represents our sin our separation from God because of our sin. From the Garden of Eden, uh, Adam and Eve blew it. And they ate from the tree that God said, there's only one rule I'm giving you, don't eat from that tree. And they, they broke that rule. And so they got separated from God. God kicked them out of the garden. Um, and from those generations on, we have lived in a humanity of sinfulness. It's a sin nature we were born with because of Adam and Eve's fall. And so this darkness separates us from God. And so that brings death and judgment. And God is holy. And he cannot be with unrighteousness. He cannot look upon it. He cannot be in the presence of it. Um, and so our sin separates us from God. And so he can't, he just can't have us in his presence like this. Um, and so there's our problem. Sin separates us from God, from our creator. Big problem. That brings us to the reason that we celebrate Christmas. We get excited because Jesus came. The red page represents the blood of Christ. Jesus came as flesh, son of God, God in flesh, perfect, blameless, spotless, loving God, came to teach us. Um, but the most important thing that Jesus did was to come to reconcile man with himself, meaning he came to forgive us of our sins. So when he died, he was crucified on a cross and he gave his blood as a sacrifice for our sins. And the way I explain it is, you know, if you sin and do something wrong, Jesus comes and takes the blame. If you believe on him as your savior, you can't stand before God covered in sin. We just covered that on the dark page. But if, if you um, accept Jesus as your Savior and receive his blood that he gave for our sins, um, when God sees us, Jesus says, this one's mine. I took the cost for that one. He took our punishment. He took our beatings. He took our, our, our consequences. He took the, the death for us. And so we, um, when we ask Jesus into our hearts and ask Jesus to forgive us of our sins, we're actually receiving his blood, that perfect blood that he shed for us. We're receiving that as an atonement for our sins. We're covered. He paid the price for our sin, even though he never sinned. And that results in this beautiful white page of forgiveness. When you say yes to Jesus and say, yes, Jesus, I receive your blood. Please forgive me of my sins then you become covered in white, just white, you're pure, you're clean. You can be in the presence of God now because you're standing in the righteousness of Christ. You take on God's holiness and um, you can be with him now. You're clean and white because of the blood of Christ. And that leads us to our final page, green, which is a new life. You get a new life. You get to be forgiven you get to be white as snow, clean. You get to stand before the Lord and walk with the Lord in a newness of life. And what it means is that you're going to turn away from your old life. You're not going to keep walking in darkness. You're going to walk in the ways of God. You're going to walk. You're going to read about that teacher, Jesus, that died for you, that rose from the dead and bled for your sins and gave you a new clean slate. Everything that you had done wrong is washed clean, gone, forgiven, forgotten. And then you turn and you walk in a new way. You follow Jesus. 
And the way you do that is you just ask God to help you. You repent, which means to stop the habit of sin that you have. doesn't mean you're never going to sin again, but you ask God to help you. And walking in newness of life is as simple as make sure you just spend time with the Lord every day, talking with Him. Get alone with Him like Jesus did. And take some time to pray with Him every day. Get in His Word and read about what Jesus said. Learn from Jesus, what He taught. Learn from His disciples, what they did. Learn about how the Old Testament was fulfilled through the New Testament. Get in God's Word. Pray and and ask God to help you walk in a new way. And the cool thing is, you, not only do you get to go to heaven, but you get a new life now. You get a new life now. You have joy and peace and hope now and into eternity. So that when you die, yeah, you're going to still be with God. The thing about living in sin and staying there and not having the forgiveness of Jesus is, not only do you have eternal darkness when this body dies and your spirit is separated from God forever, but you have a lot of darkness here on earth. This is depression, anxiety, hopelessness, despair. I mean, it's just a dark place to be, especially if you don't have Jesus. And then to face eternity without him, it's just dark. So thanks be to God that Jesus came. He died for our sins. He offers us forgiveness so that we could be clean and white and forgiven And we can walk with him in a newness of life. Spend time in his word. Spend time talking to him. And just start walking the way that Jesus walks. Walk with your father. Just like you can just picture a little boy walking with his daddy. They walk the same way. They talk the same way. They work the same way. You just start walking and talking and working like your Abba father. And you will be on your way. So that is the gospel in a wordless book. This is through the Children's Evangelism Fellowship um, organization that taught me this through um, the Good News Club. It's not my idea, but I think it's a great way to share the gospel and understand the gospel. So if this helps you, great. Super easy to make. I just glued some pages together. Super easy to explain. And I hope it helped you. God bless you. God loves you. God died for you. And he doesn't want this to be complicated. It's not hard. Just say a simple prayer. Jesus, I receive your blood. Please forgive me of my sins. I am going to turn from my wicked ways. And then just walk in newness of life with him. Read your Bible. Pray. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. And God will bring you the rest of the way. Okay? God bless you.